Hey everyone, my name is Vincent and today I am going to walk you through Chronicles of Crime Community Editor. Um, this tool has been perfected and built over the last year, literally over one full year of development. It is used by all our writers and, and, uh, uh, and the author of Chronicles of Crime's episodes and we are super excited to finally be able to share it with the community uh, to allow you to, uh, to write uh, stories on the platform. Let's see and jump in. The first thing you need to do uh, when you create a scenario is to select the decks, literally the physical decks of card that you will use for your scenario. Uh, there is uh, in the base game a category deck, character deck, forensic deck, location deck and special item. If you work on the base game, I recommend you to pick all of them uh, and then click new scenario. You could also load a previous CSF scenario here uh, and don't bother about this, but for now we're, we have not created anything, so we're just clicking new scenario. Uh, when you create a new scenario, well, so here is how the tool is structured. You have five categories, which I'm going to go through one by one. So you have the scenario settings, which I'm going to go through in a second. You have locations. Those locations are basically the location that you've created for the purpose of your uh, story. For example, you know, you have the uh, the victim's apartment in Camden. You have the characters for that story. And, you know, the game comes with 50 plus characters, but maybe you need only 10 of them and you will create them here. You will also here create the items that you need for your story. And finally, you can create events uh, that can be triggered uh, while the player is playing. Let's start from the top, scenario setting. First, you need to name your scenario. So, I don't know, the uh, Marith. Mary's death. Let's, let's, let's create a cryptic name. Introduction mission is what literally is shown as as the first message the player gets when it, they start um, they start the game. So uh, it is uh, 5 a.m. and you receive a call. For example, blah blah blah. Close location. So and then after that, I have three messages that are kind of generic messages used uh, across all across the the scenario the first one is called a closed location default message what does it mean when someone tried to scan a location that has not been discovered we call it a closed location and so here you will say um, uh, you don't have a precise address to visit here for example as as a generic way to say well you come to location f but you you don't know this location yet. You don't know where to go. Then you have the same location scan. Let's say that I'm on location F and the player scan location F again. Well, um, I think uh, a lot of the scenario is this uh, pay attention officer. You are already here. Uh, and finally, the unused deck means that someone is trying to scan a card either from a deck that we are not using or literally a QR code that's uh, come from something we don't know. Uh, and we will put a, a generic uh, message here that says, sorry, we don't know this QR code. Then we have a bunch of settings on the right, uh, which I'm going to go through for you. So the first one is the difficulty level that will be shown in the main menu. The starting location, I haven't created any one yet, but if I had some, I could, I could say that it's, uh, I say, a starting location F the game. Um, which, like, if I want to run an event at the beginning of the game, I could pick it up here. Then you define the time uh, at the one the player is starting. Let's say that for this one, we receive a phone call at 5 a.m. We said, so it will be 5 a.m. like this. Um, then you define how much minutes are consumed by doing specific action. Move to location, investigate, scan item, etc. So this is all default value for all the scenario. You can change it if you wish so. And then the scoring setting. So how many stars do you get based on how many points the player gets at the end of the game? Uh, this is how you get, you give basically a bonus, uh, time bonuses or even time malices. We, we remove this penalty uh, after plenty of playtests because we thought it was too harsh and not in the spirit of the game. But here is how it works. You have three threshold here. It's 10 hours, 12 hours and 14 hours. So what we're saying is that to get the maximum bonus, you have until the first 10 hours to get the maximum bonus. And then between 10 and 12 hours, so the next two hours, the, the points will go from 30 points to zero points. And then beyond 12 hours, up to 14 hours, then uh, the the maximum you will reach the maximum penalty, and beyond 14 hours, then you will be guaranteed to get the maximum penalty. As you can see here now, penalty is at zero by default. If you really wish, so you could change this value as well. 
Finally, we have the currency, which is uh, which is going to be covered in another video. It's mostly used by Noir, uh, but you have not access to any of those decks just yet, so I won't cover it here. You can select more decks if you forget them. I think we've covered uh, these scenario settings for now. So let's jump into our story. In order to add a location, a character, an item, or an event, simply right-click on it. Um, let's say that uh, we receive a phone call at 5 a.m. that a woman has been found uh, in her apartment in uh, in South Bank, and we'll call it a victim's apartment. And let's say that uh, we'll learn later that actually uh, the commanditary of this uh, of this mother actually is our daughter, and she uh, and she lives in Greenwich, and it's uh, we'll call it daughter daughter's apartment. So what I've done here is create two location. Uh, the first thing I've selected at the top is to link to a physical card that location, and then give it the name it really carries on in your scenario because obviously we're talking about g generic locations uh cards so we want to uh frame better in the storyline where we are in south bank right now we are actually in an apartment in south bank the last thing that uh, you need to set is the starting state of that location uh by default there's either open or close so obviously because we're probably going to go to the victim as apartment straight from the beginning we will keep this uh, this open at the start but to greenwich we'll probably have to find out where is her daughter where she lives and so by keeping it closed it means that if someone tried to scan greenwich location m they will be bumped out by the message we set up earlier that says hey we don't have a precise address in greenwich you need to keep investigating or something like this then we're going to create some characters so i'm going to create two characters for this demo the first one is going to be the victim uh the mother we call her mary i attach her to uh, it's, it says personage read it's going to be translated in the final version you get but it says character eight and the state doesn't really matter for now and i'm going to create a second character here um and that's going to be our daughter which i'm going to call uh colette all right and finally, I'm going to create an item here. Let's say that uh, let's say that she was killed with with a knife. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create a knife here in the items. I'm gonna select the card. Uh, so for you know for item, there's no precise item. There's clue category. So I'm gonna select the kitchen utensil maybe, and call it a knife. This is what this generic stuff is actually a knife. Um, in time of state for object, there is the not found found default stuff that you should uh, should know about. Basically, by by default, no object is found up until you scan it in its proper location. Again, it's to avoid that p that player just try to break through the game by scanning everything, no matter where they are, and discover that there is a there is a knife. So, uh, so by default, the starting state is not found of this knife. So I've created all my objects. Um, events, by the way, will be covered in another video for now. So I'm gonna go to the victim's apartment. If I had a 360 scene, I would basically load the image right now and put it here so that it will show up. But what I'm interested right now is for us to be able to interact with object in person in this location. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna click this character. Automatically, this list is filled up with all the characters that you've created. So we have two of them here. If I create another one later on, it will show up here. So, um, so here we're saying that when I am at South Bank's victim apartment, if I scan the Mary's card character eight, here is what would happen. Here's the text. So the this is the victim's body. Um, there is you basically can create a lot of different texts that will trigger based on different states for example uh you could decide whether you know uh for example that if if this location for whatever was closed open or maybe was in another state uh, burnt or something you could uh, decide to change what what is said based on on the state of that location then you can change on the state of mary maybe uh 
in this case Mary is dead so I don't think she's gonna have many state uh, but maybe uh, for another character a state could could matter for example a character could be um, you know to be cooperative or non cooperative so it's if if uh, if that person was non cooperative or cooperative um, and you can also check the state of anything for example uh, we could say that um, actually we could make a second second text that says if we have found the knife and here if we have uh, not found the knife then if we have not found the knife this is just the victim's body if we did find the knife then, then maybe we could say Mary's, um, Mary has clearly been uh, stabbed by that knife we found earlier you see so uh, in this case I'm scanning the same card, but it's a different text that shows up based on a bunch of state and object that I've decided would trigger those texts. At the end, once you're done scanning, you can actually change object state. In this case, let's say that when we scan first time without knowing that there is a knife, uh, this is a victim's body, uh, we heard a daughter lives in a Greenwich. Here is her address. So basically, we're saying that now we, we just gave to the player the address. So what we need to do now is add a state change and take the daughter's apartment from state closed to state open. And basically, we are, by doing so, after reading this text, the Greenwich location will become open and player will be able to scan it. So, uh, and you can change literally any state, the state of a, a character, the state of an object, the state of, of many things. Um, there's the set variables, it says check variables, set variables, it's something that will be covered later. So this is for locations. Now let's talk about the character. So let's say that I, we move to Greenwich um, and in Greenwich, actually, we are actually going to meet her daughter, Colette. So first going to create this interaction at Greenwich to talk to Colette. Uh, hi, what do you want? And so in order now to interact with her, we need to go in the character section, click on Colette. And this is uh, in the interaction mode, what she's going to reply based on the card we give. So I could ask collect a question about her mother Mary and as usual again you can change what she will say about her mother based on object states based on her own state based on location state tons of things that like it's extremely extremely malleable to to, to story state which is the the heart and the difference of, of this game so um, for now let's say it's a basic state so yes it's my mother uh, what she's dead Yep. So, so that's that will be the that will be how to interrogate this. But I can also um, talk to Colette about herself. You know, uh, actually, yes, I am Mary's daughter. Oops, sorry, daughter. But I can also interact about objects. And maybe let's say that we found a knife, and we want to ask her about that knife. Um. And maybe she could say, where did you find, where did you find that knife? It's my uh, brother's knife. All right, so I will conclude this video here for now. Uh, I think it gives you a pretty good idea on how to do at least the basic interaction with location, their basic state characters, and how to uh, give you know different text uh, based on who you integrate and where you are. Uh, so to conclude, I will save this first thing, and voila, this is my first video. The next video will cover information like uh, states and other things. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.